We can divide substances into pure substances and mixtures. Mixtures consist of two or more pure substances that are together but not bonded together. And so we can break them down physically. In other words, we can break them back into their pure substances without breaking any bonds, just by moving the pure substances apart from one another. For example, maybe you have some sand and you have some water and you put the sand and the water together and you stir. Now you have a mixture of sand and water. But the sand and the water are not bonded with one another. So it's actually quite easy to separate the sand from the water. Maybe we could pour this mixture through a funnel with some filter paper and then the sand will stay behind but the water will go through. Some of the very fine parts of the sand might even also go with the water but if we used many different filters eventually we could get nice pure water. So we can see that we have broken the mixture down physically using what we call filtration. Another way we could break that mixture down is if we heated it then the water would evaporate and go up into the air but the sand cannot evaporate it would stay where it is so in that way we've separated the mixture without breaking any chemical bonds but we can't do that with a pure substance there are two kinds of pure substance elements and compounds in elements there's only one kind of atom all throughout the whole substance and we can't break an element down at all not even by breaking bonds because an element is the simplest kind of substance you get. A compound consists of two or more kinds of atom bonded together and it can be broken down but only chemically, only by breaking bonds. Let's take some examples. Oxygen is a kind of element. We find it all over us in the air. Each oxygen molecule consists of two oxygen atoms. So in the case of oxygen, there are two atoms per molecule bonded together, but they are both the same kind of atom. They are both oxygen atoms. That's why this is an element. Now, if you have some oxygen, you could filter it, you could evaporate it, you could do whatever you like. You could try and run electricity through it, you could try whatever you like to do, but you will not make anything simpler than oxygen from that oxygen. You will not be able to break that oxygen into other things. The best you can do is to break the two oxygen atoms apart from one another so that you no longer have an O2 molecule, but you have two O atoms. You could do that, but even if you did that, which would be very difficult, it would only last a while and then each of those oxygen atoms would either come back to one another to make O2 again or would find another friend to bond with and then make another compound. In other words, you haven't made anything simpler. You haven't broken it down at all. You cannot break oxygen down because it is an element. Water is an example of a compound. You can make water by reacting hydrogen gas with oxygen gas. It makes a big bang or a pop if you just have a little bit. And the hydrogen and the oxygen bond together. That pop is the release of energy as the two bond together. The formula of water is H2O. So we can see there are two or more, in this case it's two, kinds of atoms. Oxygen and hydrogen are not the same kind. And these different kinds of atoms are bonded together. They're not just sitting next to one another, they're bonded together. So if you filter water or you evaporate water, the bond is strong enough to keep the hydrogen and oxygen atoms together. It stays water only if you put enough energy in to actually break the bonds between hydrogen and oxygen. Then you can actually break water down chemically. You can change water from water back into hydrogen and oxygen. You've simplified it. You've changed it back into its component elements, hydrogen and oxygen. So that's why we say that it is a compound. 